Many Heavy Bag Pro users have asked us what the correct boxing stance is. There are several variations, but in this video, let's break down the classic stance that every beginner boxer should know. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Rotate your upper body about 90 degrees to the side, facing your opponent sideways rather than frontally. Adjust the toe of your lead foot to about a 45 degree angle. Meanwhile, keep your rear foot pointing straight ahead, ensuring stability and readiness to move. With this stance, your liver, a vulnerable spot, is further away from your opponent, reducing the risk of body shots. Position your rear hand so its elbow shields your liver, while the fist stays near the chin for protection. Remember, defense is key. Your chin should be tucked down, guarding against face strikes. Raising the shoulder of your lead hand further protects your chin, fortifying your guard. Lift your lead fist so you can see under it. Keep your knees slightly bent. This not only aids in quick movements, but also prepares you for powerful strikes. When throwing a punch, extend your legs to channel more power into your strike. Immediately after, return to the slightly bent knee position to maintain your stance and balance. Practice punching when stepping. As you step forward, initiate with your lead foot, pairing it with a jab or a straight lead punch. When stepping back, move your rear leg first, accompanied by a jab. For the cross, begin by stepping forward with your lead foot. The cross is launched simultaneously with your rear foot. Don't forget that a great punch starts from your feet. Let's now break down the classic boxing stance into three key variations, long range, mid range, and close range. First, the long range stance. Imagine your legs nearly aligned, one behind the other, maximizing your reach. Your lead fist is extended, almost probing, perfect for launching those sniper-like straight punches and elongated hooks. This stance lets you strike from a distance, keeping you just out of your opponent's reach. Next up, the mid-range stance. Position yourself at about a 45-degree angle. This stance is your all-rounder, versatile for delivering a full arsenal of punches. Here, add some dynamic slips and rolls to dodge and weave. Finally, the close-range stance. Feet nearly parallel, and you're in tighter with your opponent. Keep your hands up, guarding your face and body. In this stance, rolling and slipping are essential due to the proximity of your opponent. Shift your weight between your legs when punching, unleashing powerful uppercuts and hooks in peekaboo style. It's all about close quarters impact. Each stance has its strengths and situational benefits. Practice them all to become a more versatile and unpredictable boxer. If you want to take your training to the next level, then download the best-rated boxing app, Heavy Bag Pro.